Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshings tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we explore several tools within PointWise that let you easily measure the length between grid entities and pairs of adjacent grid points. Probably the most useful tool for measuring length in PointWise is using the built-in Point Probe tool. To use this tool to survey the distance between two points, select a point using either Ctrl plus Shift this middle mouse button or the Alt plus Right mouse button accelerator combinations. This will print the point's coordinates to the messages window. Select a second point using the same accelerator to have the second point's coordinates and the distance to the previous point printed to the messages window. A line is also drawn between both points in the display window where the distance between them is also shown. Pointwise also includes a number of different examine metrics to measure the distance between grid points whether they are grid points associated with connectors, domains, or blocks. The first, edge length, is available for structured or unstructured grid entities and displays the length from grid point to grid point. A grid cell's edges can be probed via the display window while its edge length will be highlighted on the color bar. The second set of examine metrics, I, J, or K length, computes the length between the current I, J, or K point and its neighboring I, J, or K plus 1 grid point, depending upon the selected computational coordinate direction. This metric is available for structured grid entities, but can also be used with unstructured prism blocks. This function will calculate across grid entity boundaries so long as the adjacent entities are also loaded into the examine tool. Otherwise, the stencil direction is reversed as necessary at the entity boundary. Finally, the I, J, or K length ratio metric computes the ratio between the distance from the current I, J, or K coordinate to its neighboring I, J, or K plus 1 grid point and the distance from the current I, J, or K point to its other I, J, or K minus 1 neighbor in the chosen computational direction. The larger of the two distances is always divided into the smaller value, so all values range between 0 and 1. This metric also works across grid entity boundaries as long as they are also loaded into examine. Otherwise, the value at boundaries is set to 1. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.